the concept of marginal utility is not very difficult to understand let's say you have a utility function u for two goods x1 and x2 and you keep one good fixed say x2 and change the other one so what is the average change in the utility with respect to the change in good one the good which you are changing so that will be delta u upon delta x1 keeping x2 constant x2 here is constant this guy over here can be said as marginal utility for good 1 and similarly you can do it for good 2 as well delta u is u of x1 plus delta x1 x2 minus u of x1 x2 and delta x1 is simply x1 plus delta x1 minus x1 just to give a bit of an idea what's happening over here you're changing x1 from x1 to x1 plus delta x1 and with respect to that you have a change of utility from this guy to this guy so this over here is a numerator and this is the denominator now obviously as this is the average rate we can in the limiting sense when limit delta x1 tends to zero we can say that the instantaneous marginal utility is just del u upon del x1 which means that i am differentiating u with respect to x1 keeping x2 constant and similarly i can do del u upon del x2 to calculate the marginal utility for good 2 so this will be your mu2 and this will be your mu1 and just a corollary to these things that if this is the expression for average change you can say that the delta u is equal to mu1 into delta x1 and if it is mu2 it will be delta x2 which is the change in utility can be represented in terms of the average marginal utility and similarly i can use the instantaneous marginal utility as small change in utility is equal to mu1 into del x1 now understand over here that this expression is not division of this but it's like an operator right i'll not get into the calculus of this but i guess you are familiar with the idea of differentiation partial differentiation so this over here is your change in small change in utility with respect to your change in good one in terms of marginal utility of good one the preference underlying utility will remain the same no matter any kind of transformation you do to this utility and similarly if you change the utility function your marginal utility will also change but the underlying preference will not change so what is the catch here the catch here is that there is something known as mrs which i've already discussed before marginal rate of substitution that kind of gives you a linkage to marginal utility and how do i understand or use marginal utility for different preferences 